Welcome to Scripture Basics Part 3. Today we'll be doing Romans chapter 10, verse 9. King James Version, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. The New Living Translation, if you only, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. The message version of Romans 10, 9, the word that saves is right here, as near as your tongue in your mouth, as close as the heart in your chest. It's the word of faith that welcomes God to go to work and set things right for us. This is the core of our preaching. Say the welcoming word to God, Jesus is my master, embracing body and soul. God's work of doing in us what he did in raising Jesus from the dead. That's it. You're not going, you're not doing anything. You are simply calling out to God, trusting him to do it for you. That's salvation. With your whole being, you embrace God setting things right. And then you say it right out loud. God has set everything right between him and me. This verse reveals the word is near, as near as your lips and heart. To confess means give verbal affirmation. In this case, to acknowledge with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and was raised for you. When we confess that Jesus is Lord, we are acknowledging his rank or supreme place. We are pledging our obedience and worship. We are placing our life under his protection for safekeeping. We are pledging ourselves and our resources to his control for direction and service. Anyone can say he or she believes something, but God knows each person's heart. In this confession, it is not enough to merely utter the words. They must be declared, professed, proclaimed from the heart, expressing our full conviction. The gospel message in a nutshell is confess and believe and you will be saved. There is no reference to works or rituals. Thank you for joining and God bless.